What's up everyone? Um, this is just going to be a really short video. In this video I'm going to explain how to configure live split for the 80% speedrun in Skyrim. So the first thing you'll do obviously is go ahead and download live split. Um, I think I linked the website in my tutorial video for the any percent run itself. I'll go ahead and link it again in this video description. Um, anyway, after you have it downloaded, go ahead and open it up. And anywhere on the application window, just right click, click on edit splits. Once this pops up, what we're going to want to do is actually locate Skyrim under where it says game name. And it's actually listed as uh, the Elder Scrolls. And you can just type in that bit and then you'll see Skyrim pop up. And then under run category, we will choose any percent. Um, neither low percent nor 100% exist, so <laughs> I don't know why those are in there. In any case, just make sure you select any percent. Um, auto splitting and load removal is the next place we're going to want to look. And this should be activated by default. If it's not, um, go ahead and activate it. After it's activated, then we can click on settings. Once we click on settings, we'll see this window. And from this window, what we can do is choose exactly what splits we want to have to have um, split automatically for us. So to sort of be included in the auto splitting program. And just for the sake of convenience, I really recommend turning all of them on, you know, as, as many as you're going to be using um, in your run. There's, there's really no reason to not have them on in my opinion. So click on Helgen. And then after that, you can choose um, out of any of these four speedrunners which template you want to use. And if you don't really want to use you know, any one runner's specific template, then you can sort of customize these and just use whichever ones you want. Just deselect and select um, however many you'd like to. Uh, we'll just go ahead and, just for the sake of demonstrating things, we'll, we'll set it up for, for my template. So click on grayscale, activate all. And after we've done that, we can click OK. The next thing you're going to want to do is actually add the the split names themselves. That correspond with the template they used um, into Live Split. So for me, that would start with Helgen. And then next would be White Run. I won't do this for all of them, just sort of to give you an idea. I'll do a few here. Um, and then we'd enter in however many more there are. And it ends for me with Sovngarde. So after you've entered in all of those splits, the split names, you can go ahead and click OK. And at this point, the timer should be set up and ready to go. Um, you'll know that it's working properly because when you load up your starting save that you made just after the cutscene, the timer should start running automatically. Um, and it should also reset automatically, so you won't even need to worry about really splitting, resetting, um, starting the timer, anything like that. And then uh, if you want to test the auto splits themselves, just do like a few run-throughs of Helgen, just make sure everything's uh, working properly. It should be splitting automatically as soon as you exit the Helgen dungeon, the cave, whatever. Um, and then also if you've never used Live Split before, definitely I would recommend uh, doing something about the layout if you want to. I personally really dislike the default layout here. Um, that's not essential though, obviously. So I think that covers just about everything for setting up a live split. If there's something you guys still do have questions about, definitely um, feel free to let me know. But uh, I will see you guys later.